Many members of the Allied Shinobi forces lost their lives. Your uncle, Neji Hugo, was among them. Yeah, I know about that. The losses were so heavy, even Naruto was overcome with despair. Let's move on to the next one. With their combined resistance and Naruto's words, Obito's heart was gradually softened. At last, Obito was rendered powerless, and the Allied Shinobi forces erupted in celebration. But this celebration was short-lived. Madara had absorbed Ten Tails' power and became the second sage of the Six Paths. His power was now overwhelming. The ninja fought frantically to the death against him, losing one soldier after another. Just as things were looking bleak for them on the battlefield, two ninja rose up to face Madara. Of course, this was Naruto and Sasuke. They were the only two who stood a chance. I am the power of the six. I'm not gonna defeat you, stupid. We're gonna defeat you. Dad looks different again. What happened this time? He encountered the same with the six paths and the spiritual realm between life and death. And together with Sasuke, they borrowed his power. Life and death? Both of them were mortally wounded by Madara. Huh? So they both died? They were on the first Come on, you gotta be kidding me. Is this for real? I mean, how did you get that far with them? How freaking strong was this Madara in chief? But, I don't know. I guess Madara was obsessed with creating that infinite superhuman. Madara was trying to destroy the ninja world. He wasn't always this way. He was once a noble man. Dude, are you serious? Madara was compassionate? He lost his world. Broke away from his friend Hashirama and was betrayed by his clan. A series of tragic events combined to make Madara into the man he is today. He's working to create a world based on his own opinions. I will destroy everything. Let me fight. I will destroy everything. Let me fight. Flame control! The time has come to leave this fight. After a back-and-forth battle, Naruto and Sasuke managed to contain Madara. But Madara refused to stop. He turned the situation in his favor, and finally brought about infinite Tsukuyomi. Oh crap! You've gotta be kidding me! The ninja world was pulled into his dream, with only Naruto and a few others left behind. The fourth great ninja war had ended, and Madara was victorious. So he thought. It was thought? It's time to gather up all my chakra. And unify it once more. Who the hell is that? Team 7 is on the move! Sasuke, Sakura, let go! Let he cut to you! Go, Aura! Yamakichi! 
Naruto, Sakura, let's end this. Sealed away in ancient times due to possessing too much power. She's known as the Rabbit Goddess, the Demon, and many other things. Her name is Kaguya Otsutsuki. Otsutsuki? Her name again? But hold on a second. What happened to Madara? Madara had a companion, Sensei, who he trusted with his life. He thought Sensei was working with him to carry out the Fudatsu Kuyomi. But once Madara confirmed the plans had been completed, Zetsu betrayed him. Why? Zetsu wasn't a true friend of Madara. He was actually working to resurrect Kaguya. So we're moving on? was truly a war of earth-shattering proportions. Thanks to the quick wit of their companions and fierce fighting by Naruto and Sasuke, they were able to get through countless desperate situations. And Kaguya was sealed away once again. So they defeated the true mastermind? Is that where it ended? No. There was still some unfinished business regarding the long-standing connection between two star-crossed friends. The connection between Naruto and Sasuke, and its eventual destination. I... I guess that makes sense. They were only able to accomplish one thing up to this point. Conflict, and nothing more. Over and over again, scars, ravaging the heavens above and the earth below, full of agonized cries and bitter rejection. And then... Enough already! Just let me cut you down! <laughs> you can't cut your connection to me! Connection, this connection, that! Just shut up already! Connections are what make this world such a pain! The stronger the connection, the more it tortures me! And now, though, my connection to you is the most irritating one of all! After fighting Obito, Madara, and Kaguya, that ends up crashing with Sasuke? It's fate. That's what you call it. Sasuke was hell-bent on one goal, and fought and fought to see it through. Her dad still refused to give up on The efforts Naruto made to save Sasuke would soon come to the entire By giving and receiving support, building and protecting connections with friends, Naruto diligently followed his ninja way. Let's... Finish this. This battle. All of our battles! Right? This time. Are you ready? Sure. They're both so beat up. What happens in the end? Both of them expended all of their power in a life or death struggle and fell to the ground exhausted. Lying there, beaten and battered, they each expressed their feelings. In spite of everything, Naruto's pure intentions remain. Nothing could change his undying love for his friend, and that would soon soften Sasuke's hardened heart. 
At long last, Sasuke came to accept Naruto's friendship. Sasuke finally changed? Wow. So, the two guys I know today... It would be foolish to try and explain the rest here and now. But what your father achieved can be clearly seen in your village today. As ninja history moves on, Naruto remains at the helm. The light! Even brighter than before! The time has come. Let's get back to the Time Reservoir. Right. You've done well. <laughs> I'm sure you've seen quite a lot, chasing your father's memories through time. I thought I knew everything about my dad already, but I didn't even scratch the surface. It's like my dad was... Man, was he cool. His life had a big impact on history. That's why he's also the key to returning the memories to the ninja world. <gasps> Is that Nanashi's? The fourth memory appeared, but it's different from the others. What do you mean? I don't know exactly. You'll have to check. Hikari. Yes, the ninja world may still be in the darkness right now, but I want this child to walk with a new light. That's why I wanted to name her Hikari, meaning light. Is that strange? It's a good name, right, Hikari? Hikari Uchiha. That's her real name. Then why does she call herself Nanashi? Having lost her parents, and finding herself being used as a tool for war, her heart broke, and she was given a new name. Nanashi, meaning one without a name. That was the new name given to her. Having lived her life like a doll, a name must not have been important. What? Damn it, this is making me so angry! She lived her life in the shadows with no future ahead of her. And now the ninja world is headed toward a similarly shadowy path. A cold, dark path, with no light to speak of. I'll never let that happen. Right. That's what the memories are for. Naruto's memories that you've collected will shine light on the world now. Let's restore the ninja world to what it once was. Yeah. Connections born of Naruto Uzumaki's memories. Run and spread across the ocean of memory. Memories. Resurrect here and now.
built be destroyed. We wanted to become the Hokage of the soul. Ever since you it would mean destroying what you built with your own hands. I'm not going to let that happen. I just like you want stuff. I'm going to put my life on the line to stop it. You're a tough one. Let's go. Unlike me, I'm laying my life on the line. No. When are you going to stop here? getting in my way it's so annoying what is with you just what what are you just what are you we're friends what do you want what are you trying to do why are you so obsessed with me because we're friends! Why are you so determined to stay involved with me? Because we're friends. <laughs> Loser. Let me ask you, just what are you then? Are you still under the control of that nobody, Mertz? Or... <laughs> I think I've already told you several times by now. I'm... Your friend, you know? Done. Borto. What have I been doing? Are you back to normal? What are you saying? Why aren't they fighting? What is going on? Impossible! Our plan was going so well. Why did the mind control suddenly stop? Nanashi, was it you? I didn't do anything. Really? You didn't stop this after feeling sympathetic for the boy? Not at all. Then why? It doesn't matter. Even without it, as long as I am alive, Zero still has the advantage. Yes, but do you know how much we spent to get this far? Just focus on your surroundings. Huh? Multiple Leaf Ninja detected around our hideout. They already have a lock on our location. How is that possible? They are foolish, but not stupid. They know we're out here, and have been searching for us. What? But how? The only information out there on Zero is sketchy at best. They could have someone as good as you. As good as me? Could it be? Katasuke-sensei? 
In any case, intercept anyone who comes near the hideout. Go. Sir! Mm. Everything is going awry. How could this happen? <laughs> This is getting interesting. Jeez, you didn't hold back, did you? You didn't either. We don't have time to rest. It's not over yet. Yeah, I know. Ready? Yeah. We've succeeded in reviving the memories. The ninja world has been brought back to normal. <sighs> Thank goodness. What do you want to do now? That's... Nanashi Uchiha's memory. I didn't think there would be more. Could you just tell me what beginners should be doing? Who is this guy? Oh, it's just a kid. It's easy to handle them when you can see what they're thinking so clearly. I can just have kids like him read the manual or something. Come on, just tell me! You already know what's on this page 13. He's so demanding. Nanashi! He's talking to me again. Did you see what I just did? What is so fun about talking to me? Hey! He's here again today. I guess I can hang out with him a little. But don't you want to have some fun? What's that? Don't worry, it's not what you think. I just want to be friends. What is with him? You said that earlier, but I didn't think you were serious. I assumed you didn't want to do it. He's right. Why did I help him of my own accord? Hey, he finally called me by my name. He noticed. However, it doesn't feel too weird. Did something happen? I'm here to talk. We're friends. F friends? Did he just call me his friend? Oh. That's nice. I'm so happy. Come on, I'm trying to cheer you up. Sorry, Boruto. I just can't forgive Ninja. The more I think about it, the more this dark feeling bubbles up inside me. But I want to save Boruto. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. I knew it. I knew she wasn't a bad guy. Living through her harsh past, never being treated like a person, 
I'm sure Nanashi was very happy that you reached out to her. However, she was also a prisoner of her hatred. It seemed that she was deeply conflicted about it. Boruto, let me ask you again. What do you plan to do now? I'm gonna go talk to her again. Even if she might not want to listen. Even then, nothing can start if we don't talk. Besides, she'll understand, because she's not a bad guy. So you trust her? Yeah, we're friends. <laughs> Go then. Yeah! The child is strong. 